Good morning everyone, it's great to be back with you on Ascari TV. It's as if the elephants heard my promise for more episodes. Um, they've come out this morning, we're just on our way uh, across to HQ um, and we're actually surrounded by an entire herd. So the first thing you'll notice is how amazingly green the bush is since we were last on your screens. Uh, we had our first rains at the beginning of October uh, and since then it's literally just come to life. So this is a good time for the elephants, they are mixed feeders, um, although 85% of their diet is made up by grass. So when they've got the grass that is what they prefer to have. And as you can see there's plenty of it now. <laughs> this is a breeding herd that we're with, just see if I can reposition here. <laughs> One of the problems with the summer vegetation, much thicker, can't see quite as far into the bush these days. Uh, so we're with a breeding herd here that's made up of a, a group of closely related females and they're led by what's called the matriarch um, and then they'll have aunties and mothers and grandmothers and cousins um, all within the herd. This is a group of about 14 or 15 I think I've seen so far this morning. And there is a couple of calves and youngsters with them too. Let's we'll zoom into one here. Twilix, Twilix, Andrew. We've got a little calf here. This one's at least a few years old already, maybe close to three. The gestation period for an elephant is 22 months, if you can imagine being pregnant for almost two years. Uh, they are about 120 kilograms when born, so we do have to put some extensive time into growing that. And then once born, they're very, very close with their mother for a good few years. It's at least two and a half years before that female would have another calf. It can be maybe up to five years for the intercalving period. Uh, obviously in the meantime that youngster's got plenty to learn. This one's already doing pretty well with its trunk. If you've been lucky enough to see a very young newborn elephant, you'll see they don't really know what to do with the trunk. <laughs> Just wave and wiggle it around. But this one looks a very, very competent feeder on its own already. Actually now that it's come out, it's maybe even a little bit bigger than three years. Just taking a break from the elephants for a second, I want to show you this tree. This is a sickle bush tree. It's normally one that we're cursing that's either causing flat tires or scratching and making us bleed. Uh, but at the moment they've got their flowers and they just look stunning. I'm going to zoom in for some flowers here. So we call this the bush Christmas tree or the Chinese lantern tree. The purple and yellow flowers are the newer ones. If they've turned white they're actually dying and on the way out. But if you've been to Ascari you know how many sickle bush there are. <laughs> so if you can imagine them all looking this stunning in flower it's really quite a beautiful sight at the moment. So this herd's just slowly moving off now. We have been with them for an amazing 45 minutes. Um, they're just very relaxed this morning, busy feeding. They are what we call bulk feeders, but they don't have the most efficient digestive system. Um, they, so they actually have to eat quite a lot to get all of the nutrition that they need. They'll feed throughout both the day and the night. 
Uh, so we're going to leave them to it. I uh, hope you enjoyed our new Ascari TV and we'll see you again soon.